Welcome to Celebrating Act Two, where John Coleman and I are speaking to our good friend, Bill Jordan, our favorite boomer. Hey, Bill, good to see you. Guys, always a pleasure. Thank you for having me back. I'm always surprised when you have me back. So thanks for having me back. <laughs> we'll have your front too and take a side once in a while. Yeah. yeah. Hey, Bill, uh, I know, you probably know that I'm a big gardener here in yes. Southern California. We can really garden most of the year. Um, and tomatoes, I just put in six tomatoes. I, I neglected the garden during the winter. Now with spring, I got six tomato plants in. Mm. Do you, North Carolina, do you have any uh, any gardening you do in the backyard there? A lot of a lot of folks here in North Carolina and our friends uh, uh, garden. My wife loves plants of all kinds. And then this past fall, we splurged and got her something she's always dreamed of, and that is her own greenhouse. Oh, wow. 10 by 12. It's in the backyard. Of course, we had to jump through all the hoops with the homeowners association, where it was going to be, and all that. You know. Anyway, passed. Yeah. Got it. She's got. She started growing from seed. It's the first year she ever did it from seed. Tomatoes, both yellow and red, squash, peppers. Wow. Uh, she's even got grapefruit growing in our backyard. <clears throat> Wow, that's impressive. Egg planters. They're they're not like you know, people talk about bucket planters or whatever. These are just bags, like canvas bags. You put dirt in them and you grow stuff. So she's yep. showed me the other day. Yeah, she's got uh, beans. Now, of course, <clears throat> I guess the, the greenhouse was about I don't know, three, four thousand dollars. They come and they it's already constructed and they drive it in, they level it, and the whole bit is pretty cool. Um but yeah, she's grown this from uh, from seed thanks to that greenhouse. And man, when the sun comes out, even in the winter, it can get quite toasty in there. Yeah, the greenhouses are wonderful for growing things, and yeah. it's uh, kind of a luxury. I see them in magazines, and you know, yeah. Well, you need, because of the cost, you need space. That, you need space for that, right? Do what? You need a, a yard, a good, good deal of yeah. space for that. Yeah, yeah. We've, got, we've got a yard, but the point being, because of the cost, you know, when she comes the first, you know, presents me the first tomato, it's like, okay, so right now the cost per tomato is three thousand. Is three thousand dollars? <laughs> yeah, right. You know, so it's going to take a lot of tomatoes to get that price down. But yeah. you know, it's what she loves, it's her hobby. I got my stuff, but I'm I, I'm happy to help her in the yard. We. You know, with, with other stuff other than just the vegetables, it's plants. We had some landscaping done. Yeah. So I always kid her. It's like she will declare one day, and I don't know until the day arrives. Today will be dig up plants in the front yard, move them to the backyard, and dig up plants from the backyard and move them to the front yard day. Wow. Well, I, have to, I have to congratulate you. Time of the year. I have to congratulate you because the greenhouse gives you, as you said, the ability to grow stuff from seed during the winter yeah, yeah. And, and get a jump on the season. And uh, if you want to really have the economy of scale, you do need to grow from seed. I, I go to the nursery and buy, you know, a tomato plant in a little box. And, right. You know, I'll never, <laughs> never save money on tomatoes that way. No, no, no. But again, it's your thing, you know, so it's your hobby. Um, yeah. Now, one thing that she has done, and we did it years ago, and she's done it again this year, and she's hanging it from actually magnets that can hold like 75 pounds. She's doing some upside down tomato plants. I've heard of that. Yeah. Yeah. So it grows out of the bottom of the planter and grows down, hangs, doesn't yeah. grow up. It hangs down. And that yeah. she's maximized the space in that greenhouse with that. Yeah. But you know the good. You get the you get the the vegetables, you get the harvest, but also again, it's sort of a Zen meditative thing of working in the dirt and digging and it's like being part of a miracle because the way yeah. food grows is just amazing. Yep, absolutely, man. You mean it doesn't I, grow in the supermarket? Right there, right in the box, the cereal in the box that doesn't automatically grow there. Now, uh, <laughs> quite frankly, I admire you guys. Um, uh, well, you, John, and, and Marianne, uh, your wife, uh, Bill, because that you have to tend to them. You worry about 
rabbits and other things eating the stuff up. Now, I live in a, a, a retirement community and there's really no property around the house to do this kind of thing. But they do have gardens, but then that means you have to, it's an activity to go to and you have to tend it. And, and I'm sure it's a lot of fun. I've always had an interest in um, hydroponic uh, in the last five or six years. I've done quite a bit of study. Not only hydroponic, which is uh, water-based uh, uh, farming, but vertical farming, where in inner cities, where there's not so much access to fresh fruits and vegetables for a lot of people in a lot of communities, that you could convert old abandoned buildings and actually grow uh, many, many vegetables uh, and uh, some fruits in there. Uh, and so I've had an interest in that, but it just seems that the work involved, you got to love it. Like I'm sure well, yeah. does, and right. I know you do, John. All right. Let's face it. All that hydro hydroponic stuff, that's really for people who want to smoke their plants. And <laughs> I mean, choke. There. I oh. think. It's well, you're an expert, thing. John, and you must be an expert. So I'll take it from you. Inside, that's kind of where my head went to, John. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, guys, uh, I want to say thank you for um, sharing everything. And uh, Bill, get, once more, give us a, a how do we get these beautiful mugs? Well, to get the mug, uh, I recommend you go to BillJordanEmbraceTheBoom.com. They are 20 bucks, it's 15 ounces, very sturdy. Uh, they are, amphibious. they are. You can look at it, <laughs> right-handed. Uh, yep. But free shipping uh, in the continental US. Uh, people use them for all kinds of things. Coffee, tea, hot chocolate. I've got a friend who puts her makeup brushes in them. You can plant you <laughs> plant her little full yep. of, plant mm. a bean in there. Uh, you could. And then my book, Embrace the Boom, you can get on Amazon.com or BarnesandNoble.com, Target.com, Walmart.com. Um, and really, I mean, on Amazon, it's less than 12 bucks now. They've taken like, I don't know, 11% off or something. Um, and it's just little nuggets of wisdom that indeed help me as I've already read mine today and um, helps you. I mean, it's just basic philosophy that if we are brilliant yeah. in the basics of anything, you're going to be really, really good. This is kind of like a live a better life kind of thing. It helps yeah. me. Wayne. How to enjoy life in one little booklet. Yeah, I, it works for me. And I've had great, great response to it and great rankings and reviews on Amazon. So that's how you do that. Anyway, so back yeah. to business. Yes. Everybody should get a mug. Thank you. And uh, so really, uh, regardless of where you are in age, although this is, you know, kind of specific for baby boomers like we are, yeah. live your life, forget your age and embrace. Embrace the boom, baby. Thanks, guys. See you soon, Bill. For more on Celebrating Act Two, visit our webpage, follow us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube. And tell your friends, Celebrating Act 2 is the user manual for the second half of your life.